What up, Hassaniacs? Confession alert. I love Kim K so damn much. She is my spirit animal. Bible. Bible. So, when she stormed the White House and demanded Trump pardon a 67-year-old drug felon, I was like, dope. Keeping up with the commutations, 63-year-old Alice Johnson, now a free woman. And while it's not a full pardon, she's out of jail. Forget Mandela, move over, Gandhi. Kim K is the freedom fighter we didn't know we needed. That got me asking, though. WTF is a presidential pardon anyway, and can it be used to forgive, like, anything? You're Hassan the Record. this thing on. The founding Padres knew the country would face critical moments when a well-timed offer of pardon to insurgents or rebels may restore the tranquility of the Commonwealth. So they gave the president the power to pardon. Alliteration. Dank. The pardon lets the president absolve anyone of any federal crime. Never happened. Get out of jail free. It's like if Trump was a superhero, let's call him MAGA Man. The presidential pardon would be one of his sick new superpowers, except instead of putting people in jail like a superhero, he'd be busting them out of jail. Wait, was MAGA Man the bad guy the whole time? Shyamalan. Now, the president's power to let people off has sometimes come in handy, from George Washington using it to stop a bootlegger insurrection, to my man Barry O freeing 300 nonviolent drug offenders. But my fave presidential pardon definitely came from Abe Lincoln. You see, in 1861, you know what? This pardon story is too good. Let's just relax in this one, menage nots. Okay, where were we? In 1861, Abraham Lincoln pardoned Arthur O'Brien for the crime of, wait for it, attempted bestiality. Seriously, this actually happened. Beardy back of Penny Dude pardoned a guy who swiped right on a barnyard animal. Lincoln thought the dude had been too drunk to be held accountable. Yeah, in the 1800s, apparently being drunk was a legit excuse for bestiality. <sighs> Amazing. Now, some pardons aren't as easy to get behind as Arthur O'Brien's sheep. Like when Gerald Ford let Nixon off the hook for Watergate, Ford said it was to move the country forward. But thousands of callers flooded the White House switchboard. And I know what you're thinking, menagers. What the hell is a switchboard? <laughs> then there was the time Bill Clinton pardoned a dude who was once on the FBI's 10 most wanted list. Bill Clinton's pardon of Mark Rich was appalling, a disgrace. Rich was a fugitive. Clinton issued that pardon on his last day in office. Uh, he cropped us to oh. justice. Gross. I wouldn't inhale. But Trump isn't waiting until his last day. Also new today, a White House official said Trump is obsessed with pardons, describing them as the president's new favorite thing to talk about. Trump's ready to overuse his power like a Beyonce fan overuses the B emoji. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, she's my queen, she is my queen. Anyone who did anything wrong with, for, about, or because of Russia, Trump could say, never happened. And they all go free? Dead ass. And that brings us to the weird question. Once he's done pardoning all his peeps for whatever they did wrong, can Trump pardon himself? Forget MAGA man, that would be like Trump finding the constitutional infinity gauntlet. Perjury, pardon. Treason, pardon. Super adultery, pardon. Pardon, pardon. America, I don't feel so good. But have faith, menageaholics. Trump can't pardon himself because the Constitution doesn't allow it. Okay, I can't read. So let's just ask a constitutional law expert. Nobody knows for sure if Trump could pardon himself, but the Constitution doesn't say for sure that he can't. What? So Trump maybe could pardon himself? I thought that was obstruction of justice, but then he would pardon himself for obstruction which of justice, would obstruction. which would be obstructing just justice, but then he would just pardon himself. 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 No! Guys, go to HassanTheRecord.com and pick up my exclusive brand of water, Hassani. Because remember, water is gasoline for the brain. Drink about it.